don't buy a house in Hamilton, Ontario unless you understand these things because it could easily be the biggest mistake you ever make if you don't know what you're doing. So let's dive into the do's and the don'ts when buying a house in Hamilton, Ontario. My name is Daniel Hale. I'm a licensed real estate agent in Hamilton, Ontario, and I've helped tons and tons and tons of people move here. And I want to share with you the biggest mistakes that people make, starting with the most important one. Do not buy a house in the wrong neighborhood. If you don't know Hamilton, Ontario, it's very important that you do your research on neighborhoods so you can find the right one that fits your needs and your criteria. There are neighborhoods that you definitely want to avoid that could literally be a nightmare for you to buy a house in. Now Hamilton, Ontario does have a lot of really nice areas. It's become a great place to live and there are a lot of people moving here. But there are areas that you definitely do want to avoid such as the industrial sector down there. It's a smoky area. It's noisy from all the work. You're going to get all sorts of different funky types of smells, a little bit rougher houses. Avoid the industrial sector. Now, another thing that you want to avoid, which can be kind of tricky, is the student rental areas. There are universities and colleges in Hamilton, Ontario. Now, the thing about this is they're actually in nice areas that are very safe. But the thing that could trick you is you buy a house there, you move in. Next thing you know, every weekend it's party central, it's loud and you want a more quieter, peaceful environment, but there's students everywhere and they like to party sometimes and you know, cause a little bit of ruckus. So having a house in those areas, not so good. Unless you're a student, that's not a problem, could be for you. But if you're not, don't make that mistake. Now those are just two areas I would avoid and I did a video on this with all the areas that you do want to avoid and I will link that at the end of this video. Now the next thing is don't overpay for the property. During this time we have seen interest rates rising which means property values have gone down and when you purchase a property your lender is going to get that property appraised and if it doesn't appraise at the price you bought it for you are stuck having to pay that difference plus your down payment. Make sure you know your comparables. Don't just look at properties that are listed on the market because the truth is you actually want to see the ones that have been sold recently within the last 30 to 60 days. The more recent in that area, the better because that's what the appraiser is going to go off of. So you want to make sure that you understand your comparables and don't overbuy the property. And with Hamilton, that can be tricky because there's so many different types of properties in each neighborhood. So these things are super important, which leads me to my next point. Don't do it without the right team. Starting with the real estate agent. You need to make sure you have a really good local real estate agent that understands all the areas of Hamilton, understands what the current market is like, so they can help you get the right price, negotiate for you, and make sure that you're looking in the right area. And when it comes to the neighborhood, let your real estate agent show you and recommend ones that are best for you depending on your needs because everybody has different criteria. However, make sure that when you find the house that you do really like, you drive your car around the neighborhood, take a look at it, get out of your car, walk around the neighborhood, which is even better, talk to some of the locals and ask them about the neighborhood, which will really help. And you can also do some extra due diligence. I'll put a link down below in the description for you where you can actually check that neighborhood's crime rate and see how recent crimes have happened, what types of crimes have happened, or even better, if there are any crimes at all. These are important things that you can check out and make sure that you're choosing the right neighborhood. Now the next person on your team that you want to make sure you have is the home inspector. Don't buy a house without a home inspector. 
Hamilton has a lot of older houses. They do also have newer houses, but there's also another important thing that people don't really pay much attention to, and that's a lot of real estate investors do a lot of property flips in Hamilton, Ontario. So if they do that without permits, you go in, you buy this property, because it looks nice and shiny and everything's brand new, and then you buy it, it starts falling apart on you, or it's not done right, you gotta spend more money on this, it becomes a big nightmare. Now, the other thing is, there's a lot of older homes, like the Victorian style homes, homes that are over 100 years old, and these types of homes, some of them are beautiful, and I understand why people love them, but remember, they are old. So you do wanna make sure you have a home inspector, whether it's an older house, a newer house, no matter what, it's only gonna cost you anywhere from three to $500 to get your home inspection. He's gonna look at everything for you and make sure you don't buy a house that has any issues that you're gonna be paying more for later or regretting. Now to finish off your team is the mortgage broker. The mortgage broker is going to make sure that you're pre-approved so that you know your financing, you also know what type of down payment you need to have, all of that stuff, which is super important. You wanna make sure that you get your pre-approval done before you start shopping for a property. So, with your team, have the right real estate agent. Give me a call, send me a text, or shoot me an email. I'll put my information down below. I'd be happy to help you guys move to Hamilton, Ontario, and make sure that you don't make any mistakes. Because like I said, if you buy that house, you make those mistakes that I'm talking about right now, you can't just up and leave. It's you're kind of stuck for a while. So that's a crucial thing. Have a good real estate agent, have a good home inspector, have a good mortgage broker. Watch this video on areas that you do not want to move into and take a look at this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to learn more about Hamilton, Ontario.